Hello again. Last week, we moved the docks into an indoor enclosure. And that was great. Stopped a lot of the problems we had. But it created some new ones. See, ducks can be a little difficult about their water. And this time, we need to fix that problem. All right, so ducks, swans, geese, any waterfall, they all need to be able to get their nostrils under their water. It's part of how they keep their sinuses clean. For chickens, guinea fowl, turkey, this isn't an issue. You can give them a little nipple waterer, almost like what you would use for a rabbit, and they'd be fine. But for the waterfowl, you have to give them something they can dunk their beak in. And this is a problem. Because they also really like to play in their water. Especially ducks. Give them a bowl of water, and they're going to wind up in it. Even if they don't wind up in it, they're going to splash it everywhere. This is pretty annoying, even when the bowl is in the yard. But now their water has to be in the same confined space as them. They splash out the water, it gets all over their bedding, makes a huge mess. Besides that, if they're splashing their water out, it doesn't last very long, and we have to refill it constantly. And every time we refill it, more water winds up in their bedding. So, what are we going to do about it? I found what I think might be a solution online. It's a modification of a five-gallon bucket that at least we'll keep them from splashing around in it. For geese, we really don't have this problem. You give geese a bucket, and they're perfectly happy. They have nice, long necks, and they're tall, so they can reach over the edge of a bucket and drink that way without ever getting into the bucket. But ducks aren't so tall, their necks aren't as long, their necks aren't as flexible. So what we're going to try and do is give them little holes they can stick their head through, but not the entire duck. So what do we need to do this? Standard five gallon buckets from the hardware store, and a whole saw bit. This is three and a half inches. We use this exact same size to make our chicken feeders, and the ducks eat out of those, so we know it's at least big enough. What we don't know is how low the hole needs to be. So I'm going to make two. Making these things is easy. Take your five gallon bucket and then drill four holes around the edges of the bucket at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. But how high up should you make them? For the first one, we're going to make them such that the top of the hole is aligned with the bottom of the reinforcements at the top of the box. For the second, I'm going to go down another two inches, just to be safe. 
It was a little annoying getting the plastic discs back out of the drill bit, but otherwise, this was only a few minutes work. And the great news is, once the ducks got out of their fear, they realized their water was in the ducats, buckets, and they went for it. So I am now calling these ducats, and I highly recommend anyone who has ducks think about making these. They're cheap, they work, and the ducks really seem to like them. They don't like them as much as a puddle, but I think that might be a good thing. So the ducats are working, but I think they could be better. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. But what helps us out even more is comments. And I need some advice. So these five gallon buckets, they work, they work well, but they don't hold a lot of water. The two and a half gallons that we can get in them only lasts about 14 hours for these birds. How will we scale them up? Anyone have an idea? I could just make more, but I would love to figure out something bigger that I could just fill with a hose. If you have any ideas, want to join the discussion, please comment below. And until next time, hope you have some fun.